Okay, let's see how this one goes. Hi, this is Susan from Forevermore Creations, and today seems to be eyebrow day. Um, this cutie patootie uh, has yet to have any eyebrows, uh, so I am going to show you how I, let's put, mm, yeah, that way, okay, that way, yeah. Uh, I'll show you how I do my eyebrows. I will say that the first time I ever did it, it took me seven hours, well, seven episodes of Lost, that is. So I have this wonderful little brush. It has been altered. Um, I actually got this one from Yvonne, Yvonne's hair painting course I took at uh, Rose the first, the first year I went. Yeah, so like 2014. Um, it's... A brush that has been, where am I, where am I? Where am I? Oh, here I am. Okay, don't mind me. Um, that has been cut to make it very thin. There's also one that I've gotten from McPherson's that I quite love. And I will find to show you. Don't mind me. I'm not as organized as, you know, a normal human being. Or maybe I am. Okay, uh, la 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 la. Just enjoy the cute manor elf while I look around. Where is it? You know you have too many brushes when. I, I don't know if they look the same because I haven't ordered many in the last while, but where am I? <laughs> okay, it was a purple brush. Uh, it's called Eyebrow and Microvein, uh, Authentic Reborn number five. But you can see it only has like, maybe you can't see, but it only has like two or three. Well, th about three little, uh, don't mind my dog whining, um, three little hairs, and it works really good. But for this one, I am using the altered brush. Okay, I talk too much. Here we go. So often I will, t okay, I have a, something in my mouth now, which is a paintbrush, the back end, not the front. I will take a cosmetic sponge and I will just, that has been dipped in mineral spirits of whatever kind you're using, just to make the paint flow a little easier. Okay, so then I will often just draw a straight line of how I want the eyebrow to go on, like so that I can follow it as almost a map, you know? Okay. Blazy, you gotta wait. I'll let you out in a minute. He just wants to drink water anyways. Weird dog won't drink water in the house. Okay, so then I kind of think of it as, I want to say a feather, cause, but you know, you don't want it to look like a feather. So what I do is, let's see if I can even move it up closer. I will take my paintbrush that has the colors I've mixed. For this one, it was burnt umber and carbon black um, with thinner, but I made it pretty thick. Here, wait, I will move this for one sec and show you. Okay, this looks dirty, but I like to take the paint from Where's my finger? The sides here. Where it's a little bit more concentrated and kind of sticky. Um, yeah. So not straight from the paint pot, but you know, as close as you're gonna get while mixing. So, okay, so you can see I have that line there. And then I'm going to take my brush and just little, little strokes going into this line. So like this. Can't do a whole lot of strokes with one uh, paintbrush full. But, and then you can see, let's see, am I getting in here? Okay. You can always fix up any little mistakes with your sponge or <laughs> I love cotton swabs. I go through a ton of cotton swabs. Sometimes I'll even move paint around with a Toothpick, yeah. When I when you you know, desperate, got to do something. Don't want to erase the entire one if you make a little bit mistake. You can erasing is wonderful option. Here we go. So, so yeah, I usually like to feather out the end of my eyebrow. So yeah, see, I'm just doing little strokes. I I have a I haven't decided if I like going from 
like the inside of the line and out because you do get that that more feathery end but you can also use cotton swabs to soften all your edges so here let's see see like those are super super duper um, thick so I'm gonna take a cotton swab that I've dipped in thinner I'm gonna dab a little bit of the thinner off and then I'm just gonna you know take away some of the paint so one end has thinner one doesn't so the other one I use to you know kind of move the paint around take it off where I don't like it um, fix the edges the ends sorry of the eyebrow okay this actually, <laughs> this isn't a great eyebrow that I'm doing right now. So the likelihood of me taking it off, pretty high. So here. So yeah. Just gonna. I often do eyebrows in multiple steps, like this would be the first one. Um, it's a little darker than I would usually start off with, but I bring it down over here. I do bring some, a little bit onto the eyelid, just a little. And then, you know, you see the, what do you call this? The, I will call it the eyebrow bone. Um, you don't want your eyebrow above it or the baby will forever look uh, startled. Um, but you don't want it too close because then, you know, your baby doesn't have an eyelid. And it's up to you where you want to end it. Um, I don't like to make, give my any of my babies unibrows per se. So, so yeah. This is where she's gonna stay at for now. Now I'm gonna watch my video and see what a big goober I am and decide if I wanna post this. So yeah, if you ever have any questions, feel free to email me. Eyebrows are, you know, one of the hardest things to do to start off with. And looking at this closer, my strokes are a little bit too thick, so. But I hope you get the idea. Thanks, bye.